Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today we're continuing my part of you with chapter 10. So, without further ado, let's get into it. You can follow along if you want. Let's get into it. So, yeah, let's just get into it, okay? Chapter 10, Ant's POV. I woke up in the morning and yawned. That was a good sleep, I said, stretching. I looked down and saw Hop Hop. Are you trying to get us out of here, I asked him. He turned around and looked at me. Yeah, I am, but the waters are super... Uh, uh, are super strong. I can't get past, uh, and I can't get past. Also, it looks like a storm might is coming. It might get worse, he said. Okay, we are waiting at this one out, or what? I asked. Yeah, we're, we're waiting this one out. But if we get caught in the storm, we'll have to be on guard. Why don't you go wake up Sprig and Polly? They need to see this, he said. Okay, uh, I'll go and wake them up, I said. Uh, I said, getting out of my hammock and walking down to the cabin deck and shook Sprig. Spring. Spring. Spring, wake up! I shouted at him. What? He said, waking up. Hop up once you and Polly get up deck. I said, okay, I'll go right away. And you'll wake up Polly, right? He asked. Yeah, I will, I said. Okay, he said. I got up and walked. I got up and walked. Uh, he said, and got up and walked up deck. I woke up Polly and went up with her and saw the storm getting closer. Um, hop up, I asked. Yeah, and I see it. It looks like it's getting closer. We have to, we have to go, but we are stuck. We have to try to go through the storm, uh, strong waters to get away from the storm. Everyone, hang on to something. Hop up said, uh, going up to steer the boat. I held, I held, I held on to one of the railings of the stairs. We went through the strong waters, and it looked knocked us. And some water got onto the boat and soaked into the lower deck. Ah, oh, crud! I said, hold on, and hold on, and we'll fix that sooner or later. Hop Hop said, I hope sooner. How long do we have to wait until when we get out of these strong waters, I asked. I don't know. It seems like we'll be sailing you know, through these strong waters for a while. He, he said, no, okay, I'd like to get out of these waters, I said. Hold on, hold on, Ann. We'll get out. Just wait, he said. I hate Hop Pop when he says, Z just wait. He is so demanding. But anyway, after a while, the waters are, are getting stronger by the minute. Hey, HP, I said. What, Ann? He asked. The waters, the waters are getting stronger. Maybe we should turn back. I said, no can do, Ann. We're out too far. And yeah, I know the waters are getting stronger. We need to uh, push back through. We need just need to push through these waters. So he said, okay, well, what about the storm? I asked. The storm, I don't think, I didn't think about that. Can you check the sky for me? He asked. Yeah, I said. I looked up, and the storm it was closer. The storm is closer. I think. It, I think trying to avoid it's not the right thing we should have done. I said. Hop up, looked at the sky. Oh, jeez, it does look closer. Okay, let's do the drill. We did in case of, you know, of when we get in a storm. He said. But we never were in a storm. How do we know this would work? I asked. We have to try. Now you kids get in position. Polly, storm watch. Sprig course watch and Anne help me with keeping this boat on course he said on it me Sprig and Polly said we all three rushed to our spots instantly Polly how's the storm hop hop asked close and it's getting closer she said okay Sprig we on course hop hop asked yeah it seems like it but we're heading off a bit left he said okay and hop hop said I helped him steer back on course so we did this for a while. This wasn't a drill. This was the this was the real thing. It seemed scary, but I tried to be brave. Then something weird happened. Polly, what happened? Hop up asked her. It looked like we are in the storm. She said, "Okay, okay, everyone, calm down, calm down. We are going to figure this out." Hop up said. Then I looked down across the boat. I noticed some sparks. I realized lightning was about to strike. It was close to Sprig and Polly. I ran stairs to save them. It was close to them. No, and no, Hop up screamed. Then a lightning strike came down, and I was tossed from the boat and into the water. I couldn't remember mostly after that, but I was half awake and felt something grab me under my your armpits. It brought me back up to the surface onto a wooden no, wood plank broken off from where I was. Where I was where I was, threw me onto it, and I coughed the water out of my mouth. The planters saw me and rushed towards me. Anne, are you okay? Hop Hop asked. I'm fine, but something saved me. I have to see what it was, I said, getting up and, or, and ready to run. No, Anne, the waters are too strong. You might die, Hop Hop said. I don't care. I'm not scared of dying, I said. Then I ran, 
and jumped into the water. I couldn't see, but a creature came up to me. I knew what, what it was. It was a mermaid. I yet gasped. This could be the mermaid that we were trying to find. I couldn't see much of their features, but I could make out green on them and a green tail. It came close to me, then it brought me up again and back onto the wooden plank. Oh, Anne, there you are. We were getting worried. You would never come up, 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 said, coming over to me. I stood up. Did you find what, what saved you? Sprig asked. Yes, I did. And it brought me back up here, I said. What was it? Polly asked. A mermaid, I said. A mermaid? Sprig asked. Yeah, I think it's the one we're looking for. I don't know why it's hanging out here in strong waters, I said. Yeah, it seems weird, but the storm stopped and the waters are, waters got calmer, Sprig said. Oh, I almost didn't notice, I said. So where are we so where are we looking for the mermaid spring? I asked. I think it saved me, but it might follow us. So so we gotta get out of here, I said. Okay, let's go, Sprig said. Hold on, boy. The boat got destroyed by the light n lightning strike. Before we get back on the water, we gotta fix it. Luckily we're standing on it. Hot Pup said, Yeah, let's fix this thing, I said. We fixed the damage and sa then sailed off. But when night came, I didn't go to sleep. I was sitting on the balcony, looking across the water. I think Sprig woke up and walked outside and saw me. He came up to me and sat next to me. You okay, Anne? He asked. I'm fine, Sprig, I said. No, I know when you're lying, he said. Okay, I am. I'm wondering why did that mer mermaid save me? Yet we humans hurt them. Why would they want to save a human? Doesn't make sense to me. Doesn't make sense to you, I asked him. I asked him. No, not really. But they probably want to probably want to patch things up between mermaid between mermaids and humans don't think about it too much or they're probably just or they're probably just being kind he said then he stood up okay i'll try not to think about it but how can i they were they are right in front of me i said i don't know how you're supposed to not think about it but i don't want to think about it too but don't want you to think about it too much he said yeah i'll try he said okay now you should go to sleep You'll need the energy, he said. Yeah, I'll go to sleep in a little bit. Thanks, Brig, I said. No problem, he said, then left. I watched him walk out of the cabin, uh, captain's cabin, walk down the stairs, and into the cabin deck. I looked back across the water. Water. I did this for a bit, then stood up and laid down hammock. I was still thinking about the mermaid. Didn't know why it saved me. After a while, I fell asleep. So there is chapter 10. Chapter 11 will be up soon. No. So, yeah. Bye!